Greetings, fellow Dwarven Lords. Thank you for tuning in to Episode 15, Spineless. All right, so Nightbot, I want you to haul over craft. Yeah, it was a good, um, it, it, it's a good idea that, yeah, I, I might want to make sure that we're not refueling the forge. So let me refill the forge now that all the wood is forbidden so that it topped up and we don't draw from it. Is your base built inside a cave? Uh, it's built inside a mountain. It was never a cave. I cut every piece that you see here. Uh, the other thing I want to do is let's start stockpiling these corpses for the burn pile, because the burn pile has been definitely kind to us. So I'll add those. And a work drive for... I don't I really need a work drive for Vam. He's just trying to learn electrical, uh, intellectual so that he can make drugs for us. Patrick, why are you here? Are you sick? No, this is not your... No, 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 no. Go back to your bed. All right, Laz. The innocent executed prisoner here is weighing very heavily on Laz. Let's give, have Pangea give a leader speech to try to offset some of that. If we can. If I'm lucky. And then we'll do the pyre. Encouraging. And straight into the pyre. Burn for friendlies! You kind of murdered him, but you, he deserved it. It worked! I don't care who you are, you're accepted. So this is the raffle timer. Let me actually reset eligibility. Raffle timer's up and paused for a moment. There it goes. And let's take a look. It is this guy. He's coming in with dog leather on. Okay, I'm just making sure Yoda's still there. Chemical in... Oh. A real winner! A real winner! Oh boy. Chemical interest, cannibal, slow learner, with absolutely no combat skills whatsoever. But he can do meds and research, I guess. Oh boy. I have found an organ donor. I won't organ murder him, but I'm... I'm, um... Very unimpressed. We don't need another Viper. 105, that obvious, is not uh, that weird. We're dwarves. We don't... We we live long. Uh, Coruscant's 134. Nightbot's 149. Dwarves don't have human lifespan times. They live a bit longer. Right, while you're coming in, might as well haul a dead body. This guy doesn't have a bright feature. He can meet Tank. He can meet Tank. About all he could do. Alright, so for assignments, meds. And schedule. He's done. Who knows, maybe he'll be useful. But this is not the person I was hoping to show up. Uh, you don't have a bedroom, though. You never know. I could be surprised. They could come in clutch. I'm glad to be getting the wood finally. 
Maybe I'll try to make some better crossbows or something. Or mining helmets or, I don't know, something. Oh, you're taking up my research spot, though. That was for Vomorix. Popped you off of that. So at this point, I will continue to use these corpses to add to the fuel pyre fire. Because that's not weird. Yoda. There you go. <laughs> He's so placid. Bring in the last of the wood. Then I'm going to allow all things to be refueled as soon as this wood is placed down and forbidden. I don't waste it. Also, looks like we're starting to cut the planks. So there's 26 wood here. The planks obviously yield a ton, uh, which is great. One minute warning on the uh, the raffle here. So if you haven't typed anything in the chat. Uh, type now so that you may be added. And Quarosol, I think you're due for a mining helmet. So I'm going to queue one of those up with Vomorix so that he can quarry uh, being a light source. All the rotten corpses to the butcher table? From the butcher table? Yep, we'll do. I'm not going to do a Jabber Slate layer. Um... So that would look like this. So it would be rotten animals that I would normally want to eat. Oh, lovely wood. And replacement body parts are done. Let's go back to find apparel, because that's what you had voted on prior. So replacement body parts are made from, where are they made? At the munitions or fo anvil of forge. Alrighty, we need a leg pretty desperately. Crafting 14. Vomorix, you're at crafting 13. You'll hit that quick. You'll hit that very quick. So I might just give... No, Vomorix, that's not for you. That's for Coruscant. I might give Vomorix some stuff to craft up. With all the steel I've been getting, um, let me queue up some armors and whatnot. So, actually, I take that back. I want to, isn't he so cute? I want to wait until I get the fine apparel to get an improved armor. I might as well make better armor than the armor I'm currently making. Although the better armor, I'm pretty sure, requires, um, the better armor requires probably gold, a lot of it. So is there anything I can make right now that I'd, would be good for crafting? Should I make improved crossbows? I don't have a lot of wood, but strong improved crossbows that are high quality and accurate might be worth it. I'll ask you. What you think? Yoda's just a mood. He really is. Hey, buddy. What's the difference? So the difference between the normal crossbows and the improved crossbows the improved crossbows, 26 damage, and a cooldown of 2.5, aim 2. So 26 damage up from 22, armor pen of 15 to armor pen of 20. So a little bit more armor pen, a little bit more damage. And then if I'm crafting it myself, there is the quality modifier. So if it's masterwork or legendary, it will do even more damage and be even more accurate. All um, 
you know, all the all the quality will drive up the accuracy, but then if it's Masterwork or Legendary, it will do even more damage. So it could be, uh, it could be real good. And the giveaway. Hey, <laughs> Apollos, Apollos, tis yours. I hope, um, I hope you live up to this name, buddy, because you are a great Wendigo, but I don't know if you're going to be a great drug-addled dwarf. I'm hoping, dude. I'm hoping. I was planning on uh, having you be a tank. Because I'd, I'd need a... But you have a better shooting skill, so maybe I'll make you a shooter. And then finally living up to something that you all voted, like, a decade ago. Is the three. Oh, yes. We're finally doing it. Yeah, let's quit quarrying. That is becoming a bit messy. And it also looks like you guys are going to want the crossbows. So let's queue... How much wood is it piece? 50 wood a piece? Well, I can only make one. For now. Oh, yeah, we're getting more wood. I have 57 wood down here, so let's make two of them. One person voted no. <laughs> want another viper, huh? Yeah, I guess I did. I just wanted any dwarf because I've been getting people killed. I'm sort of glad you guys voted for me to save scum. Although I, I do, Orton, I agree with you. I feel a little dirty, but after having focused, hyper-focused for 11 hours, you know, mistakes get made. Just the way it is sometimes. Oh, the improved crossbows cost gold too, don't they? A uh, 10 gold a piece. The mechanical legs cost uranium. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Um, I kind of edited uranium not to exist. So that's not going to happen. We're going to have to buy uh, one of those potions. So I might send Pangea over to purchase a potion at some point. Because I didn't realize it cost uranium and there is no uranium in this world. Hey! You're definitely a slayer. What is with the the cannibal nudists? This guy is super murdery. I like it. Um, raffle timer's back up. Because Mr. Super Murdery just joined us. Uh, let me reset the eligibility. And... I hope he survives long enough to get inside. What is your... Oh, God, you're... Yeah, I guess the outdoor temperature is not so bad because it's spring. But run! Run! Man, he is ready to cut something deep. So we have our three brawlers now. Corsal, Laz, and Dawi. Everyone's a Dawi. He's also going to need to go to prison. Oh, God. I am not going to want this prison revolt. He's going to murder everybody. Uh, Vamp, could you get this bed made? Because he is... Yeah, that's why he's a cannibal. Well, we admitted him. Legendary! Uh, Quarasol, I'm going to give you the legendary bed down here. If, if they do go berserk, I'd rather have my guys near the berserkers. I'd also rather, honestly, have the two prisoners beat themselves up. Rather than have me have to get beaten up. So, I'm going to quarter them together. And good luck winning this, uh, this crazy brawler. Look, 
we have a pile of bodies. Oh, this one should be open. Glad I just noticed that. Totally defeats the purpose of our defenses. Alright, before I recruit you, or before I imprison you to convert you, let me just put that axe away. Also, let me allow you to wear clothing. Although, are you a nudist? You are a nudist. Never mind. Take the clothing off. You're going to be happier that way. He rocks out. Uh, I'm not finishing that sentence. All right, you stand right there, and let's rest. Uh, if I rest right now, the problem is the raffle. I can't raffle him. So actually, I'm going to wait two more minutes so that I can raffle him. And for your clothing assignments, nudist. And for your work assignments... Honestly, your work is just to hack and slash enemies, more or less. But I guess you like crafting, so we'll allow you to craft. He has a burning passion in, in crafting, but uh, not a lot of skill. And Aniti, thank you for the follow. Alright, this is your bed. Yeah, a tough... Uh... Burning Passion level 16 melee is just a very dangerous prison prisoner to house. And this prisoner here's resistance is dropping, but not super fast because of low opinion. Who do you have a high opinion of? Your wife. Well, you gotta do better than that guy. Yeah, a naked... Berserker Dwarf is uh, pretty strange. Pretty strange in the scheme of things. So here's our Gow Tree. Nice and centered. And the connection ritual would be probably best for Laz. But Laz is already so busy farming. The lamps. Let's turn off automatic refuel. So we don't use this precious wood. And we have a Psychic Drone male. Uh, did we ever make that crossbow? Two work away from making it. Come on, bam. There it is. Excellent quality. Let's have you use it. So, to compare, this one, an accuracy of short and medium at 85%, 22 damage. And this one, an accuracy of 100%, 26. A range of 34. Is that... Better than the last one. Range of 32, so it's slightly higher range as well. Uh, but I don't have enough gold or something to make another one. Maybe component. No, I have components. I have the gold. I don't have... I have the wood forbidden. So let's make another one. And there is the raffle timer. It goes to... Berengar the Bearded. Oh my god, that is a perfect name for a dwarf. You were built for this series, dude. Just don't kill us as you become a prisoner, please. Also, what is going on? <laughs> You're naked with a pink hat as a crazed berserker who just wants to eat flesh. There is so much wrong with this. I love it. Marathon, how goes it? Hey, Crazy Chris. It goes pretty well. I got stamina. For the sake of my physical and mental health, I'll be only going for 55 more minutes, but I feel like I could go on for another 12 hours. So maybe in the future I'll plan for longer marathons as a uh, as a method of self-punishment, I guess. Good morning to those. Oh yeah, it's starting to become the morning for some. So, has my... Yeah. The wood's coming back. Uh, should I switch over from wood to brewing? Should I start brewing?
in lieu of planting wood. What do you guys think? You need more grog? Uh, that, that's up to you. The other thing I could do, actually, uh, which kind of satisfies both, is it's the correct temperature pretty soon, because I can see the, the stuff thawing, for me to plant hops and barley. If I... there, dwarven barley. And let's, uh... Let's avoid the... the tree zone. So that it's not competing with moss. I think I can just plant both. So what I'll do is I'll halt the planting of this stuff, the sowing of this stuff, so they can focus on the, um... Oh, well, this is bad seasonal temperature. But <clears throat> I think we can have the best of both worlds. Soon. Because this is more fertile soil than this anyway, so this will grow faster once it becomes seasonal temperature. So here's Coruscant's, um Wonder Helmet, which glows. So everywhere he goes, it's like Rudolph. It's a little Rudolph helmet. Sky, thank you for the bits. Kicking off a hype train too. I appreciate it. So now that I have a bunch of coal, uh, let's start the bulk powder. And Vam, you were working on your intellect, and you are level three. Is when you get level four, you'll be able to make better beds. Um, the other question I have for you all. So obviously you're gonna want beer. Should I have someone make a run for healing potion? Yes or no? So, um, Vam has one leg, and because I, I modded out uranium, I can't really make her a placement leg. It's just not possible without me dev moding. So, the question is, do we, um... Let me get rid of that do I run and buy a potion, which isn't too pricey and will allow me to grow, regrow the leg. So if we take a look, missing a toe, missing a pinky, missing a right leg, missing nothing, missing nothing, missing a thumb and a burn neck scar, and then missing nothing. So the leg is obviously the, the big injury for me to care about, and the rest of it is kind of like, whatever. Hey, Apollo, thanks for gifting out subs. Cheers. Happy about the new character, I suppose. So far, you haven't binged, but I don't really have a lot of drugs for you to binge on anyway. And Fing Face and uh, Mass Conversions for the bits. We can do another Dawi Festival for a potential recruit in three days without a uh, penalty. And Berengar, I have told you to... Yeah, you are set to convert. RT Sin, thanks for the bits as well. Nightbot is going to follow around Lazarus. Lazarus is one of my best brawlers, Nightbot, so this is not a wise plan of attack, friend. Squeaky, thanks for the bits as well. Some last hour hype. Oh, actually, Nightbot, you got the best of them. Wouldn't expect it. What are you going with that? Making bulk powder? Oh, bulk powder costs wood? It does. Not coal. Okay. So we'll make one bulk powder, but obviously I'm going to reserve the wood, the rest of my hard-earned wood for other tasks. So here's bulk powder. Black powder. Note the high flammability. <laughs> JD, thanks for the bits. Or, uh, the, the gift itself. JD, I have a question. Was this... Did this live up to your expectation? Because I know you were a little bummed that this wasn't the Nomad Caravanning. What's funny about that is uh, someone just suggested on Patreon about a Nomad Caravanning series. So, I can definitely see it happening in February when I do another one of these uh, subathons. Uh-oh. This is exactly what I was worried about. Patrick is losing... He's getting the snot beat out of him. 
He is not land. He's landed one hit. The oh, he punched off his thumb. And you are still berserked. No, are you done? Oh, you're done. Good. Well, down a thumb. Yeah, I was rightfully scared of this naked berserker. This, uh, this mad lad. And you guys say, do the healing potion. So, Pan, I'm going to have you go buy your lonesome because you're the fastest. I just hope you don't get waylaid. Ten-ish days of food should be enough. Bring some meds. And then... What can I sell that I can carry? I might just have to bring the... I'll bring some of the organs because they are worth a lot and don't weigh much. I have the other crossbow, but let's bring um, a thousand silver. All right. Anything else? Big ticket items that I can bring? Not really. I don't want to part with the Grommel, but I haven't really been put it to use, so. All right, we're good. Send. Uh, I do have the leather for another bed. So let me throw one together real quick with Vomorix and see if you can't load it into your caravan before you leave. It looks like you're leaving quick. Hang on. Just wait, Pan. This, uh, I think the beds are, what, only 2.5 kilos? So I think she has the weight for it. Plus it's legendary, so, uh, that's gonna be comfortable. Dang. Of all the things to make legendary, you made two excellent crossbows and then a legendary sleeping bag that um that hurts me like deep inside. But before I leave, let me get that uh, le uh excellent crossbow that I made. That's going to be better for Pan. There it is. Godspeed, or whatever dwarves say to one another. I don't even know. Rock and stone. Yeah, we'll go with rock and stone. That works for me. Spawning a dryad in five days. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, you had to... Hey, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You, you had to pick the person that lost a husband and had to execute an innocent prisoner to be the target of your insults? You have no soul. Nightbot, you monster. Says the caravan's immobile. Uh, yeah, it's just a little bit too fat. No, we're, I think we're mobile again. Uh, we ate like one stone bread and uh, apparently defecated fast enough that we can move around again. So, Vam, how close are you to Int 4? Halfway? Ish? Nightpod Tess, definitely the MVP. He's definitely something. I in no way doubt or deny that. MVP might be a little rich. Definitely something, though. Most volatile player. <laughs> Isn't Laz the doctor? Laz is one of them. We have a we have a few. Thankfully. Choo choo! Arthur, thank you for the resub, by the way. I think I missed that. And glitch for the bits. Cheers.
And Trustin, I think, uh... I think I missed your donation. But as always, thank you. I can't wait for Wednesday. Wednesdays are now... My hump days are my new favorite days, because I get to play with you. I just checked my dashboards. Embarrassingly late. <laughs> You, thief. Oh boy. I am outsmarted by hair. Oh, and this is out of fuel. Laz, I just bashed this thing. Thank you. <laughs> Apollo missed like 50 shots. And then finally Laz was like, smash, we're done. Bunny dead. We're good. So Laz, I'm going to have you wardening as well. Do you like any of us? No, you don't have a rapport with anyone. Because you're a heartless, murderous, nudist monster. Got it! I cannot wait to unleash you on the Skaven. Because that's... That's what I keep you around for. You're a Skaven crusher. We're somehow getting through the backlog of, uh, chunks here. It's just like a weird miracle. And let's- let's take a little bird's eye view for a moment. For all the new people. Like Warhammer Skaven? Oh, exactly like Warhammer Skaven, yeah. So the center... is an open top... open air farm. This is kind of like a volcano that I'm in. This is the- some of the, uh, prison cells and bedrooms. Prison cells and bedrooms. We've got the fungal plank growth for wood. We've got our cold storage, which is currently not really cold. Um, it's refrigerated, though, so that's something. Oh, I could start more pickling, because I do have the wood. So, uh, Vam, let's have you pickle. Double our pickling throughput. We've got our kitchen. Ritual room, temple. I guess it's now a temple. It's not a great haul because of reasons. Uh, the rec room, dining room, and then all of the windowed grow zones that stay warm in the winter. The kill box, burn box entryway. No, I'm not doing that. And, uh, yeah. That's the full tour for people tuning in. Apollo is idle. You should... Research. I am... So one of the rules is I can only have two researchers max, but because Pangea is away, I'm not breaking the rules by having him research because Pangea is obviously not researching right now. Oh, God, do I have a wedgie. What you get for sitting for... Uh, 11 hours and 20 minutes. You mean it's not Lord of the Rings? Uh, it's Lord of the Rings with Skaven, if, if that- if that's how you want to think of it. <laughs> I, I mean, I know you're joking. Ooh, Inspired Recruit. Well, okay, so Patrick... So that's Vomorix. Uh, Vomorix... ...is the only Warden right now. And talk to this one. Oh, also, Raffle Timer, because this is about to be Inspired Recruiting. So all you subscribers, if you want to be eligible for Patrick, a little reminder, the hypersensitive, abrasive night owl who likes to touch plants. I don't know why I described it like that, but it's true. Uh, just type something in the chat and you'll be eligible for Pat. So you are Dowie right now. And then the crazy Behringer or Berengar is going to be uh, in the prison by himself, which is super scary because he's a berserker and he's going to go crazy and he's going to punch everyone in the face and it will hurt. Uh, you are terrible at combat and you're also a uh, night owl, so I have no idea how in this little mountain you can tell night from day, but I'll put you on a night owl schedule out of respect for your desires. Your work priorities... You like doctoring, but you suck at it. Sounds like Eli. Sounds like someone I know. 
Um, I'm not going to let you in there with Berengar, because he's probably just going to punch you and remove a lung. Your other good lung. Uh, speaking of good lung, I ought to do that surgery soon, so let me get the, um, the hospital bed going. Get your other lung. Masterwork, so that will be good for surgery. Uh, Dowie, rest until healed, and... I'm, it, I always, like, want, I'm always sort of tempted to go to harvest a lung, but it's obviously, that's the wrong move. Oh, I should install a peg leg for, um, Vam, though. So I'll do that soon, as well. You missed a sleep for the night owl? That's okay. Given the quality of my beds, they're not going to stay asleep anyway, because you don't sleep past your full. But um, it would be 11 to 18, and I did 11 to 18. I didn't miss any. Oh, uh, that sleep. Yeah, I see what you mean. You, sir, deserve a, a cookie. I don't have any cookies. Apollo, don't do that. Laz, do it. No, Apollo, I said don't do that. Laz, do it. How did this get missed? You literally... I... Laz. I, my brain is gonna explode. Uh, I want a stallion. I can't afford a stallion. I want a potion of healing. And I'll sell you a kidney and a lung. And my legendary bed. And I still can't afford it. This is sad. Well, <clears throat> I left for a potion of healing, and I come back with a horse. How pissed is Vomark's gonna be? I hope not so much. I'll just have to go back for, with more wealth. So the stallion's gonna let me do uh, trade runs at 60% faster. And also carry things to sell, which is why I wasn't able to make the money I wanted to make. Sorry about that. Um, so let's start coring up things that could be worth something to sell. And I will raffle that horse, yes. So, Dawi, who now has a lung, is um, going to be raffled and the horse is going to be raffled. So let's install a peg leg. I don't know why I blanked on peg legs. I think I've been playing Wendigos to so long, which doesn't really have peg legs, that I forgot that that's like a thing I could do. So let's increase your speed a little bit. So we'll be raffling twice. And then... I'm gonna want, uh... Well, I mean, I have a lot of rice for the horse. Oh, what the heck? Get out. Surgery fail. You're just, it's just a peg leg. Why'd you cut? Why'd you shatter his spine? Ah! Okay, well, I need the healing potion now. Uh, because he ain't moving. For like, ever. <laughs> Free typhoid. <laughs> Good name. Thank you for the bits, because, um. Oh. Randy! So, to analyze... To analyze... Surgery success chance. Uh, 90%. Plus... This bed... At 107%, or, uh, 112%... Equals greater than 100% means that this was a critical fail that shattered Vomorix's spine. Here, let me, uh... Oh, well, you're never going to be able to walk. Oh, God. <laughs> so, Pangea, about that potion that we need to buy. And this was the raffle. So the first one goes to Purple Dino. So Purple Dino, you are the new Dowie. And uh, I'm going to name you Dino unless you want me to change it.
Ah, <sighs> boy. Have I played Battle Brothers on the channel? No, but it is being proposed for me to play next month, or rather in like 15 days. So you could see it soon. Oh, itchy. Nothing like a good itchy eyeball. I don't know what kind of wealth I have. I guess I could uninstall these um, amazing art stuff. So let me start cranking out uh, art to sell with aggro. Who won the horse? No one yet. Squeaky, you win the horse. I am gonna need a pen. Um, don't know where to put the pen marker. Hmm. But I'm also going to need to employ like a new constructor because my current constructor has no spine. He's spineless. And that's really no fault of my own. I got critical failed. Can't believe I got critical failed. It's ridiculous. Crazy Chris, thanks for the bits. No money for the Bezos. Bits straight to the, the PayPal. I appreciate it. And you're welcome for all the YouTube content. It is my pleasure. My pleasure at all. What a coward, I know. Like... Well, Morix has had a tough time, and I just needed a break, and I finally was like, you know what I could do? <laughs> Thanks for the, the double tip. <laughs> um, I was like, oh, peg leg. Yeah, I could do a peg leg. Fail. Epic fail. All right, so aggro. Oh, another one? I'm kind of getting tired of these, so I'm going to actually close my front door. I mean, I like the meat, but... We have a lot of meat, and I never notice in time. Yeah, let's just axe pick it to the head. Done. All right, Pangea. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Here in hitch spot. Don't leave the animal out there. Don't fire at the. Uh, it's allowed. Just do it. Thank you. So this will be a temporary hitching spot until aggro does the thing I want aggro to do. So aggro... You really are on the cook. Well... Oops. Darn. I'm going to have aggro build these walls here. And then I'm just going to put some rice on a shelf. And that will be for the horse. It's pretty blah, but like it's the most I can afford. And we're throwing a party. But where's the horse? Squeaky. Oh, because there's a caravan packing spot. Yeah, hitching spot there. So, squeaky. There you are. I'm not sure why you're all celebrating. You know what I just realized? I could still install the leg, the peg leg, uh, so that the heal serum doesn't think that I want to um, heal the peg leg because I'd rather heal the spine. I'd rather move a little than move none. So... I'll still do that uh, that surgery there. And then if I get two potions, I can pull off the peg leg and heal the leg. But little order operations. Uh, so I guess I don't need that. I like how the horse is hitched, can just like walk all the way to the stone bread. Because <laughs> that's a thing. You're not done yet. Thank you for tuning in to Dwarven Lords. 
The January RimWorld Miniseries Marathon winner streamed live one time only January 15th. If you have any feedback or questions for me about this series, let me know in the comments below. Keep in mind that this series has since concluded, so feedback cannot be incorporated. If you're curious about the mods that I've used, a link is in the description. If you would like to take part in the mini-series selection process, please consider joining Discord. The link is in the description as well. If you would like to submit your own idea for future mini-series marathons, please consider either becoming a patron on Patreon, starting at $1 a month, or subscribe on Twitch, which is free if you have Amazon Prime. If you don't wish to become a patron or subscriber on Twitch, but want to vote in the polls, Discord is the best way to receive notifications for community polls. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to all that support the channel. Until next time, friends.